Rock will send us away with Bran. I think so. I'm trying. I do wonder I where they'll put it. Give I'm a short at large. His fierce gaze is depicted in the black one. Brewer, me best bear. What's an honor? We're good and true here. Brawl of Clan Twisak, our valiant king. Great is our loss. All must see the change. You're not. Who's that one? Uh oh. Like it here. Watch your step. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. Hmm. <sighs> the stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Scope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions. not something I'd ever wear. for our... Hmm. What exactly is she to me? Greetings. I'm Geralt. The Witcher known as the White Wolf, I know. They tell stories about you every day around here. Looking for an open seat at the table? I'll be fine. Just wanted to talk. Gotta say, I like the place. I should hope so. Found it a rune when I came here from Undvik. Gulls shitting into the tankards through the gaps in the thatch. I bought the hut, 
rolled up my sleeves and made a proper alehouse out of it. Why do you call it the new port? Continuity. Owned the old port on Undvik. Few of my former customers come here evenings to reminisce about the old times. What smells so delicious? Greetings, welcome. Actually kind of in the mood for cards. Care for a round of Gwent? I'm always in the mood for Gwent.
Greetings, welcome. Actually, Candy, I'm always. your step. Please. 
worry Come on, Roach. Show me your way. Show me your way. So long. Greetings. Show. So long. was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's trouble is very much derived from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my poncho for long conversations. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why well, dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. I wanted to meet the notorious witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. 
But you should meet your feast mates and allow me the dubious honour. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas's firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otrick on Hindar. They set us with the sons of Jarls, exclusively. Sarah Sonkrate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Sarah's is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feet are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to crap about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher is in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. Well, we put some coin on it, Lugos. Actually, long shade idea. You never fail. by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the week. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. And it likely happened to any of us. Enough of the natter and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But well, if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Here, so you're not there. Then I left I myself 
Now here's the lonely one. Cross the wide zone. Hi, hi. Where are you? Sweet sounds uncannily. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Calm down, Lugos. No one shall teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I must run its course. We'll stick together. It'll all work out. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. Sparrow's chip, while Starling's chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Grass peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales. Crooned. Yes? <laughs> that was close. <laughs> hmm. 